this is iPad Pro. Apple's iPads, like its iPhones and Macs, their sales have been recently rising high. The company reported nearly 79% year-over-year revenue growth in its last quarter, generating $7.8 billion from iPad sales alone. Some of that growth was propelled by the pandemic. But we think that the trend could continue as people are ongoing using for iPad's portability as part of the world begins to reopen. Here's what you need to know about Apple's new 12.9-inch iPad Pro 2021. The 2021 iPad Pro has Apple's desktop M1 processor, the same used to great success in MacBook Air, Pro, Mac Mini, and 24-inch iMac. The chip makes it fastest tablet available measured by both the benchmarks and real-world use, beating Android such as the Samsung's Galaxy Tab S7 Plus and Windows 10 machines such as Microsoft Surface Pro 7. It is also at least 1.5 times faster in benchmarks than the 2020 model. The tablet lasts up to 10 hours of browsing or movie watching, or well over 9 hours of working using text editors, web browsers. Years before Thunderbolt 3. New for M1 iPad Pro is the upgrade of USB-C port to full USB 4 and Thunderbolt 3 support which quadruples the bandwidth of the connection and opens up further expansion capabilities. Some games and creative images and video editing apps can use that high-level performance, but we are not convinced many people will buy an iPad this expensive for professional creative work instead of similar priced Mac. Camera Speaking of cameras, you also get two cameras on the back, including an ultraviolet angle lens that fan off capturing more when seen. There is also a LiDAR camera which helps for augmented reality experience. The front-facing camera on the iPad Pro has been upgraded to 12MP ultra-wide angle camera and given some very useful automatic framing skills for video calling called center straight. The camera pans and zooms to keep you and the others in the view as you move on the go. It makes it a lot easier to get a good view and works with video calling app, not just Apple FaceTime. Display. The 12.9-inch iPad Pro has a big feature the regular new 11-inch model doesn't have, a liquid Retina XDR display which is fancy branding for using mini LEDs. This technology enables much brighter screen for certain things, like watching HDR movies. It also supports the Apple Pencil $99 worth. Now about the price. The new iPad Pro supports 5G if you pay for a cellular model about a $200 upgrade. The 12.9-inch iPad Pro without a keyboard or cellular connectivity starts at $1,999. A comparable MacBook Air starts at $999. The pros, the good battery life, extreme fast M1 chip, stunning mini LED screens, optional 5G, USB-C Thunderbolt 3, great speakers, Face ID, good rear camera with LiDAR for AR, large app library. And talking about cons, it's very expensive, no kickstand without a case, no headphone socket, still has a limitation as PC Mac replacement. But most of the people are going to be happy with the iPad Pro. So what do you think of the new iPad Pro 12 inch?